In order to use the Wi-Fi WAN feature on your PepWave, you will need to log into the web admin page here. Enter your username, which is normally admin, followed by your password. Once you are logged in, make sure that the Wi-Fi WAN connection is enabled. To do this, place your cursor to the left and then drag and drop to a higher priority. We're going to use the 2.4 GHz connection, as that will be able to connect to more distant networks. The Wi-Fi WAN will start scanning for networks. Click on the Wireless Networks button when possible. After a moment, you will see a list of nearby wireless networks. Look through the list to find the network you would like to connect. Click the Connect button to continue. A window will appear where you can enter the password that is required to connect to the network. If needed, click the Hide Characters box to show what you've entered. Leave all other settings at default. Click Save when done. You'll be taken back to the wireless networks list again. Wait until you see a star or check mark beside the network you selected. This means it has saved this connection profile for future use. Click Connect again, then select OK. Back at the dashboard page, you should see the Wi-Fi WAN attempting to establish the connection. Since ours is in priority 2, it goes into a standby state once it connects. To confirm connectivity, we could go to the System tab and select Ping on the left. We'll select Wi-Fi WAN on 2.4 GHz as the connection and enter Google as the destination. After the test completes, we can see that all packets are getting to Google. Alternatively, we could go back to the Dashboard tab and move the Wi-Fi WAN into Priority 1. The status then changes from Standby to Connected.